Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory. And today we're going to be doing a little train tutorial with a few little tips sprinkled in there. But we'll be setting up some basic loops, multi-stop inline stations, and some more advanced kind of spicy train stuff as well. But we'll kind of gradually make our way up to the more complicated stuff a little later on. Super basically right now, if you want to set up a train, you're going to need a train stop and a freight car platform for every freight car you want your train to have. And for a two-stop system, you're going to want to make another train stop exactly like that somewhere else. And once everything is powered and connected, you can configure the train station, go to a timetable, click on your locomotive, which you can rename by the way. But then once you have a train name, you just add on your train stations just down here with the plus thing. There's the two stops. You change one over to the other stop, close this all up, and there you go. The train is moving, the train is grooving. And usually it's that simple, but keep in mind, this is an early access game, the trains can be buggy. Really, really buggy. Like sometimes, like if you set your timetable, just as we did, the train won't go anywhere. Like you'll set it up, you'll be all happy, close this out, and the train won't move. Usually it does, but sometimes it does not. And sometimes what you have to do is give it a little boost. So you enter the train yourself, go forward a little bit, and then when you get out, the train will start going on its own. So that's one usual fix. And I run into that issue a lot, actually. Another potential bug fix is just like deleting these and replacing them again. Sometimes that can help if something's going wrong. And of course there's the classic, turning it off and on again. And finally, if nothing seems to fix your train, just delete the locomotive and replace it. And that pretty much covers like 90% of the train bugs I've run into. Well that is the basic train setup, so now let's get into train systems. So what we just set up is just a loop. The train goes around a loop. I Pretty sure most people understand that. <laughs> However, you can just have a line instead of a loop. Like you just put a locomotive on both sides of your freight cars, and they can go to one station and then back to the other. Just bouncing back and forth all the time. Like besides adding on the extra locomotives, pretty much everything else is the same. You just have your two stops on there, and then that lad is moving and grooving. But now things get a little bit more complicated when you want multiple stops. So with a loop system, multiple stops is pretty straightforward. You just add in another train stop and it goes in a loop. Like you can't go wrong with that. And the loops work pretty well. But if you want to do a line type station where you have one station on the end, one in the middle or multiple in the middle, and then one on the other end, things only get a little bit more complicated. So since it's a line, you're going to need your two locomotives on each side of the freight cars. But then with the timetable, what you want to do is add in every stop twice. So 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, and 3-3. Three, three. And that'll make sure that the train leaves 1, stops at 2, stops at 3, and then goes all the way back to the first one. So as you saw, it stopped at the second stop, stopping at the third stop, and now it's going right past the second, back to the first stop. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really know why this timetable solution works. Uh, there's probably some logical answer, but I have found this consistently works for these inline stations. So I'd highly recommend you just copy this and go for it. And just to repeat, just add in every stop twice. Oh, and while we're here, a quick tip about inclines is that the rails go up like the 8 by 2 ramps very, very easily. So I'd recommend using them if you have to go up and down. Also, if you're going up and down some crazy inclines, you gotta really watch how many locomotives you have. But general rule of thumb is you want one locomotive for every two freight cars, and then you should be good to go. Also, if you're making an inline system, having a locomotive on the other side of the train will help you with your forward momentum. So going up this crazy huge hill with one locomotive and four freight cars, is pretty tough. You can see that our speed is decreasing pretty rapidly, and soon we're just gonna stop and slide all the way back down to the previous station. 
But if you measure things out just right, sometimes you can get away with some inclines without having to use more than one locomotive. But honestly, if you're cutting things that close, just add on an extra locomotive. It's much easier, and as you can see from the speed, like, we are fine for pretty much any incline. Because now we're at the top of the hill at 70 kilometers per hour, and there's no risk of us kind of falling down backwards. And also, there's the obvious benefit of having more speed with your train means you just get to go faster, brother. And you can have your crazy 200 kilometer per hour trains, brother. Nope, yeah, but and then abruptly come to a stop. Beep. Anyway though, that is pretty much all of the basic train advice. Like just by following those examples, you should be able to make like pretty decent trains going around your map and gathering everything you need. So just a couple closing tips then. I'd highly recommend you do not build your train stations with any junctions like this at this time. Uh, right now there's a weird glitch that can happen which can cause ghost trains which is caused by two trains going over a junction at the same time. However, this issue is due to be fixed soon, so once it's fixed, we can actually make an even better train system than anything I showed you today. So look out for that patch. Then my final tip is that using train stations and truck stations in conjunction is very, very good, and I'd highly recommend it. Mainly because of a really cool truck mechanic that I talked about in another tips video, which you can watch here. Oh, wait, 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 one more tip, one more tip. And that is that you can transport power with train tracks. So I just have my main train stop at my base down here. The train comes up all the way to here. And because of the train tracks, I'm able to siphon off power from the station to this area. Right now, I have it unpowered, unfortunately. Just because trains cause a, quite a bit of lag. And when you have over 100 on the map, it can cause a bit of an issue. But generally, it's a good thing to know. Anyway though, I hope you found this video helpful, and if it was, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day! So take care, and bye bye